I greet you all in the name of our wonderful friend, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Uh, I'm so glad to be amongst you this morning. Amen. I just want to thank Pastor Brother Valentine for allowing me Amen. to stand before you this morning. Amen. There's nothing new that I'm going to bring. Amen. Uh, we're just still fellowshipping in the same Bible, Amen. in the same spoken word. Amen. 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 Uh, shall we pray? Our most dear Father, mighty God, the creator of the heaven and the earth, the Lord who knows today before it comes, who kept us, who protect us, who fight for us, give us courage, Lord Jesus, in this day that we are living in, where men's, men, men's hearts, they are even failing. They are no longer even a desire to worship you in this way that you have made for us. But Lord Jesus Christ, we are coming humbly in our souls, our life to you. Lord Jesus, we know that you have life eternal for us. We are surrendering ourselves this morning, mighty God. That Lord God, each and every day, have got its own. Give us our daily bread today. Speak to us, Lord Jesus Christ, exhort us, encourage us. Mighty God, you know wherever, where the condition is of the church this morning. I'm just standing, not that I'm worthy, but thou art worthy. Thou art Christ, thou art God. Lord Jesus Christ, let the Spirit of God move amongst us this morning. Mighty God, that Lord Jesus, our hearts will be, will be bearing, Lord Jesus, standing, holding to your, your weight. Give us more grace, Almighty God. I said it myself. I said the congregation descends to your hands. That means the Spirit of God, if they will be done this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God, go and pray. Amen. 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 God bless you richly. Hallelujah. And we can let's open the Bibles for the book of uh, Philippians, chapter 2. Let's go to the Philippians chapter 2. Let's read from verse 1. Philippians chapter 2, verse 1, it says, If there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels of mercies and mercies, fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or of any glory, but in loneliness of mind. Let each esteem each other better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things. But every man also on the things of others. Amen. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no repetition. And look upon him, look upon him for him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and become obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore, God also had highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Amen. 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 We can take our sins. I am a little bit nervous, but just pray for me. Amen. Amen. Uh, this morning, we want to talk of living for others. Amen. Amen. A Christian life is living for others. Amen. 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 That's why the Bible is teaching us here. Paul is saying. Fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, 
be of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in loneliness of mind. Let each esteem other better than themselves. Yeah. You ought to esteem your brother better than yourself. Yeah. Don't think highly more than your brother. Yeah. Amen. In the sight of God, we are only sons and daughters of God. Amen. God doesn't have great children. Yes. Amen. Amen. We are all sons and daughters of God. Amen. So don't look down upon your brother or look up upon your brother. Amen. Your brother is your brother. Amen. Just esteem him as your brother. Amen. Knowing that he is better than you. Yes. Even in a fault. But he is better than you. Yes. Let this be a mind in Amen. you. Amen. 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 Look not every man on his own things. Mm, but every man also on the things of others. Amen. 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 Don't look on your own things. Yes, sir. Look also on the things of others. Yes, Amen. Amen. Now this morning, that's where I took my thought from. Verse 4. Look on the things of others. Don't just look on your own things and move on. Christianity is living for others. There is no Christian life of lived for himself. Christianity is living for others. Christ died for Calvary, not for himself, but for others. What about even God and God have given a gift to a man? The gift is not for the men, Amen. but the gift is for others. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Glory. Let this mind be in you. Amen. Of what? Living for others. Amen. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Amen. This mind of living for others, that the mind that was in Christ Jesus. Yes. Whatever the Lord Jesus Christ has done here on earth was not for himself. Mm. It was for others. Yes. Giving his life for others. Healing the sick for others. Mm. Raising the dead for others. Mm. Providing food for others. Oh, yeah. He could provide food for others and he go home angry. Yes. So angry. Yes. Christianity is living for others. Who yes. be in the form of God don't tell Robert to be equal with God, but made him so of no repetition. And took upon him, him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of a man. Amen. And being found in a fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Amen. 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 Christ died not for his sins, yeah. but for my sins. Amen. And your sins. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. That's why Christ died at Calvary. Mm. Amen. Amen. You know, if you want to get something from God, pray for others. Yes. Amen. 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 If you are always praying for yourself, yeah. God is not going to order that prayer. Amen. But when you start to pray for others, that's when you start to see God answer in your prayer. Yes. The Bible even says, He knows your heart desire before you kneel down to pray. Yes. Or even before you kneel down to pray, God knows your desire. Yes. So there's no need to pray for them. Yes. God can answer those prayers yes. just by desire. Yes. But when you start to pray for others, God starts to answer your prayer. Yes. Yes. A Christian life is living for others. Yes. There is no way you are going to live for your own self. Mm. Amen. And the way that you are going to live for others mm. is to provide others people's necessities. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 We are in a day when people, they are thinking only for themselves. Yes. They are saying each man for himself. Amen. God for us all. <laughs> Not for us Christians. Yes. But they tell you the whole. Yes, sir. I see we are we are living for others. Yes, sir. Amen. Don't enjoy your voice at home knowing that another family is starving to death tonight. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 You better live for that person, for that family. You better live for that couple. Live for others. Amen. And when you are living for others, 
to give, which is alright. But they feel that they to pray for them so that they can get it. This is the day that we are in. Brethren, we need to be so careful then. Amen. Let this mind that was in Christ be in you of living for others. Whatever you do as a Christian, do it for others. Amen. Amen. Let's open. Uh, can you open? Help me to open my brother. Question and answer 61010 50. A quotation that we can start with. <clears throat> Paragraph 251. Now, we are all going to make mistakes. Amen. Just remember. Amen. And when you are looking at one another, don't look at the other person's mistake. Yeah. When you are looking, what makes people not to help one another or live for one another? People, they are looking at one another's mistakes. Then you say, if you have done this, I'm not going to help you. If you have done this, now we are conditioning, helping another. Christ died in Calvary as sinners. If Christ could have died for the righteous, no one here could be saved. Amen. But we were sinners. And Christ come and died for a sinner. So that a sinner can be a saint. Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 So don't look on one another's mistake. Yes. Look to Calvary. Yes, look to Christ. Amen. 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 Don't look at one another's person's mistakes. Amen. See, don't do that. Because remember, you make mistakes too. Yes. Yes. Every human being is about bound to make mistakes. Amen. Amen. So don't look at your brother's mistake. Don't look at your sister's mistakes. Live for that person. Amen. Give your life for that person. Who is making mistakes? Amen. Try to live for that person. Amen. Amen. Don't shut him down. Yes. Lift him up. Yes, Let this man be in you. Yes. That was in Christ. Yes, of living for others. Amen. And even that brother better than yourself. Yes, that he is in mistakes, but he's better than me. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Don't look at look at the other person's mistakes. See, don't do that. Yeah. Because remember, you make mistakes too. Mm. But look to Christ, mm. who is guiding this person. Amen. And if they need some help, mm. then you pray for them. Yes, amen. That's the way we get along. See, mm. pray and remember when you are praying for somebody else in that kind of a fix, God will honor and heal you. Amen. 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 You are praying for someone who is in air. Yes. God is going to heal you. Amen. Some people they don't get uh, healing from God. Mm. Not because they don't have faith. Mm. But they just fail to apply the scriptures. To God. Right. Yeah. Pray for someone else. Yes. And you are very sick. Yes. God is going to heal you. Yes. Amen. 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 Pray for someone else who is looking for a job. God is going to give you a job. Yes, sir. Fast for that family yeah. which is not living right. Yes. God is going to make you right as person. Don't just look on the things of your own. Look on the things of others. Amen. God will order and heal you when we are praying for somebody else. That's right. That's what Christianity is based upon. To help one another. Do for one another. Be kind to one another. Understanding to one another. Amen. Now, if you see your neighbor's mistake, you see where they went wrong. Don't go wrong with
with them. But just he prayed for them. Amen. 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 When you see a brother going home, don't go home with him. Pray for that person. Amen. Amen. How many are still fasting for someone? Amen. To take a day. Pray and fast for someone. But it is to go around telling people, every person that you meet, did you see that child? It's the daughter of our brother. She's not living right. She's going with poison. She's doing this. But have you ever take a day to pray for that child? Amen. Have you ever take a day to pray for that boy who is moved out of the faith? That you go around telling everybody about the life that is living. Did you ever take a time to pray for that person? Did you ever take a time to fast and pray like that boy was your child? Christianity is living for others. Amen. Amen. It's fit for the people to go around and take say, I don't know what kind of life that they are living. Did you ever pray about them? For them? Did you ever fast and you pray for them? Why you can take three days, three nights praying for that couple? Amen. Living for others. Amen. Were you going to take a cross at cover, a cross at cover, to pray for the world? If you can't pray for your brother, you can't pray for your sister, you eat a laughing stock when she's in trouble. Or at the top of the city when they're in trouble. Instead of coming down and start to pray and ask God to help them so that they can come out of that problem. If you can help them with the money, help them with the prayer. You want to help them with the money, you want to help them with the prayer. So what are you going to help them with? Christ died for that person. Amen. Don't play with that soul. Don't cry and die for that soul. Amen. It's a very important soul in the sight of God. Yes. Amen. 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 Now, if you see your neighbor's mistakes, okay. You see, okay, your neighbor's mistakes, you see where they went wrong. Don't go around with them, but just pray for them. Just keep praying and God understanding that. You will make everything right. Amen. 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 Nowadays, Christians they want to fix other people's problem, not the right way. You your duty, pray and leave that, leave it to God. God in heaven will come down and solve the problem. Amen. 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 So you know when you are praying for someone else, someone else. You are the one that gets help many times. When you are praying what? For others. This one that you are in is dying. Just, just a little bit of love. To be sure among us even Christians. Today, the world is dying. It's short of that little love. Where that brother will love the sister. That sister will love that, that brother. Where there is love among the brethren. Amen. Amen. In Galatians chapter 6, verse 2, it says, Bear ye one another's burdens, so fulfill ye the law of Christ. Amen. 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 Can you open for me Isaiah chapter 53? Amen. Are happy? Amen. Amen. Living for others. Amen. Christianity is living for others. Yes, Isaiah chapter 53 is a very familiar scripture, but I just want to read it, taking what Christ has done for us, not for himself, but for us Christians. Amen. Amen. This four it says, Isaiah 53, 4. Sure. He has borne our griefs. Amen. Who? Christ. 
not his griefs, but our own. Amen. So when Christ came here on earth, this was what was on his mind. Amen. Just living for others. Now Paul is saying, let the man that was in Christ be in you. Amen. What was the man that was in Christ of living for others? There is many things that you can do for others than what you, than what, than what you can do for yourself. Let's go. And he carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for who? For our transgression. Christ was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for all iniquity. The chastisement of all peace was upon him. Yes, and with these times we are healed. Mm -hmm. Not him being healed, but us. Yes. All Christ has done it. What he did on Calvary was for us. Mm -hmm. It was for me. It was for you. Amen. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord had laid on him the iniquity of us all. Amen. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. Amen. He is brought to a, as a lamb to the slaughter, and the sheep before the shearer is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare this, gener this generation? For he was cut off among the land of the living. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. And he made his, his grave with the wicked. For who? For us. What did Christ come for? It was for, not for himself. It was for us. Being, uh, being, uh, being crucified at the cross Amen. not for himself but for us Amen. so they, that was the man that was the Christ Amen. just to come and do all that he has done for us Amen. that's right. That's why we are coming and saying Christianity is living for others Amen, Amen. 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 let's open uh, Matthew chapter 25 Amen. Amen. Christ took the cross, all the beating, all the shameful that he had received, not for himself, Amen. but for others. Amen. And we are the others. Amen. 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 Verse 31 says, When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the, and all the holy angels with him, they shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ was talking about the judgment day. Amen. So now he's saying, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall, shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Amen. This is what on the judgment day. Amen. And before him shall we gather all nations, and he shall separate them one from another. As the shepherd divided, divided his sheep from the gods. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the gods on the left hand. This scenario is when the Lord Jesus Christ will be sitting on a judgment day. When he's going to separate the gods from the ship. Amen. Amen. So, the way that is going to use to separate the God from the ship is what we are going to read now. Amen. 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 Or like I said, the formula that he is going to use. He's not going to use that. When you are going to believe or not, no. He's not going to use that formula. Yes. There is a the formula that he is going to use yeah. on the judgment. 
judgment day to separate the sheep from the goats. Yeah. Then shall the king say unto them on the right hand, Come in, blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom, prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Yeah. For I was in heart, and you gave me meat. Okay. Amen. Amen. This is what the judgment did. Yeah. And Jesus will say, I was hungry, and you feed me. Yeah. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. This is what the judgment did. When the books will be opened, hey! Oh, glory to Jesus. Amen. And God separated the gods, the sheep from the gods. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now, he is saying, I was hungry, and you feed me. I was thirsty, and you give me water to drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, ye visited me. Yeah. I was in prison, and you come unto me. Amen. 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 Then shall the righteous answer him, say, Lord, when saw we thee in hunger and feed thee, or test and give thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee? Or when we, or when so we be sick, or in prison, and come unto thee, mm. and the king shall say, shall answer and say unto them, mm. Verily I say unto you, mm. inasmuch as you have done it unto one of these least, yeah. Amen. Or unto, or unto the least of these my brethren. He have done it unto me. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 When you have done it to this brethren, yeah. you have done it unto the Lord. Amen. God is going to use that on the day of judgment for separate. Amen. When you were when you was hungry, yeah. what did you do? Mm. When you see your brother hungry yeah. or thirsty, yeah. someone can be admitted in hospital. And it can be announced here at church. Mm. And the person won't find a visit mm. from the church. Mm. Mm. Help us, Lord. Amen. Amen. When you are visiting that person in the hospital, oh, God help us. you are visiting Christ. Yeah. Amen. Amen. When you are visiting that brother who is in prison, mm. no matter yeah. he has done wrong for him to be in prison. Yeah. Yeah. Go and say my brother. Yeah. God is going to give you. I'm going to pray for you. Yeah. He doesn't need a 
a prayer. He wants food. Don't be sick in those things. If your brother wants food, don't pray for him. Give him food. If your brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled. The brother is filled with God. You want to pray for the brother so that he can be warmed. Give him a cloth so that he can be warmed. And when you are doing that, you are doing for Christ. Hallelujah. How many still believe in the Bible? Amen. I'm reading what is in the Bible. Amen. This is what I want to practice in the church of the living God. Amen. Christianity is living for others. Amen. What you do to the earth to others, Amen. you are doing it to Christ. Amen. 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 And this, let this be in your mind. That was the mind of Christ of living for others. Amen. Be your own and shoot. Not with the standing. You gave them not those things which are needful mm. to the point. Mm. What does it profit? Mm. What is it going to help? When he said, I'm going to pray for my brother. Mm. God is going to provide for you tonight. I mean, mm. God is going to give you. Mm. So why don't you give him some minimum mm. so that he can pray? Mm. Yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. mm. Even so, faith if he gets no works, is dead, yeah. being alone. Mm. Right. Mm. Amen. Mm. If faith is just alone, yeah. without the works, mm. that faith is dead. Yeah. But when the faith has got some works, that faith is alive. Amen. Amen. That faith can create. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That faith can create a displace. Yeah. When you have done something, yeah. give him. That your faith is going to create a job for you. Yes. Amen. 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 So, faith without works is dead. Or faith without giving something is dead. When you see your brother who is needful, yeah. help him as you can. Amen. That is Christianity. Amen. If you read in the Bible, in the book of Acts, the Pentecostal fathers, you know what they did? They sell all what they have. Amen. Amen. Now it's difficult to preach today. Mm -hmm. They sold all what they have mm -hmm. so that they can be equal together among his brethren. Amen. Now they are in a competition of being better than the one. Yeah. Check the backsliding conditions that the church is today. Yes. Amen. It's backsliding, brother. Amen. The first church sold what they were having. So that it can be shared among the brethren, those who were in need, they would risk. That was the mind of us in Christ. Yeah. None of us are doing one another. Mm. No. That is the chipping of the devil. Yeah. But the mind that was in Christ in the first Pentecostal church was sharing so yeah. that there should be none in the, um, among us as who is in need. Yes. Anyone who is in need can know that one of my brothers is going to help me. If I just call this brother or this sister, I'm going to receive a error. Yeah. Amen. 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 Before I go much from there, also the Bible. The Bible is two. The Bible in the Hebrew says uh, uh, the word is sharper than a two-edged sword. Yeah. Amen. It cuts both sides. Yes. Yes. In the book of Proverbs, it says, "Don't weary your brother." Yeah. Amen. 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 I want to be balanced here. Yeah. Don't we your yeah. yeah. Don't say tomorrow. Brother. Brother, I got preached, brother. Ah, help me, brother. <laughs> okay, the brother help you. Christian brother is quoting in Christianity is living for others, brother. Christ died for us in hey, Brother, help me. Tomorrow again. The Bible also says, do not will your brother. Amen. Okay, let's go back to the book of Matthew. <laughs> Uh, some they will not go to work. <laughs> they will be just going, they will be asking, no, brother. Go and work. Yes, the point of the work, go and work. Yes. If there's any need 
if for God is going to make a way for you to receive it. Yeah. But Christian brethren is living for others. Yeah. And the Bible also rebuke people who doesn't want to work. Yeah. You must work with your own hands. Yeah. So that you can provide for your family. Yeah. Don't just say Kerry, 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 Kerry. Brother, you need your brother. Kerry what? All to work. Yeah. Amen. Do yeah. you People they miss God to pastor. Yeah. They don't miss God to breaking the scriptures so that you can feed what they want. Yeah. No telling, telling, telling. Oh, and you wait. That's right. But let us not forget that yeah. Christianity is living for others. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. If God is giving you much and you can see that the brother is working, yeah. but nothing is coming out, yeah. let me help you with the brother to pay rent. Yeah. That's true. Brother, that's Christianity. Yeah. What is it going to help you living in a mansion yeah. and your brother is going to pay one room? Yeah. Which type of Christianity is it? Yeah. What type of Christianity that it is? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Because in the old time, they sold what they had. Yeah. They sold those mansions. I'm not saying God sell your mansion. Yeah. But I want you to be balanced. Yeah. Live for others. Yeah. When you do your shopping, yeah. in a shop, mm-hmm. in the room, yeah. think also, yeah. we have got a window yeah. in our church. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Amen. 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 The windows in the Bible, yeah. they were taken care oh, in the church. Yeah. And two bosses. Some they are even the windows that are departing from the truth. Yeah. Not because they want to fight from the truth. Yeah. Because they are failing to get sustainable yeah. life yeah. that they can live. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 That brother comes with the minimum. Yeah. That sister comes with the paying yeah. rent. That family comes and says, Sister, this oh, throne is for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We are going to McDonald's. Can you just pass and call us that sister who doesn't have a husband? Yeah. We can go and eat with that McDonald's. Yeah. Brother, if you want to see God move in your life, yeah. start to do that. Yeah. Lord, we are living as an individual. He certainly didn't die for himself. Yeah. He died for others. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Where is that love has gone to? of him so good for us all. Mm-hmm. There's nothing like that in the Bible. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Christianity yeah. is looking. Mm. The Bible says say, the Bible says looking mm. on the things of others. Yeah. Not looking on the things of others of the mistakes. Yeah. But on the things of the others. Yeah. Our yeah. devil faith. Help us Lord. Pastor is here. Yeah. You know but extra you can come and ask the pastor. Pastor, I have got some money. Yeah. But I've got this. Yeah. Who can I give? Yes. The pastor direct you to yeah. a person in need. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Let's go in the book of let's go in the judgment day. In the book of Matthew. When you have done it, under the lead of this, you have done it unto me. Amen. Amen. Then shall he say unto, unto them on the left hand. Now I was talking of those who are on the right hand. Mm-hmm. When you have done, you will feed that family. It's me, Christ, who was eating. When you give that family the water to drink, in the book of Matthew, let me make chapter 10 or so, it's Bible says, even a cup of water that you give to the least. God is going to reward you. Amen. A glass of water. Amen. Amen. What about if you pay the children's school fees? Amen. Amen. You know what? Nowadays, people, they can go around talking about it. It's very true. How can you need to? In this day, children are not going to school. What have you done also as a Christian? Yeah. Is it yours? They are going to the group A school. Why don't you think that this one also they can go even on that school which pays less? Yeah. And you can chip in and say, ah, brother, I'm going to pay a children's yeah. school. School yeah. fees. Yeah. Let them yeah. pay the basics. Amen. This is eternal life. Amen. 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 You are going to be shocked today. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. When you are doing that, you are doing unto others. Amen. Then shall we say unto Say also unto them on the left side, depart from me, ye are 
test. Yeah. If you ever have in fire, prepare for the devil and his angels. Hmm. But they were coming to church. Hey. They were paying their debt. Hey. They were bringing offering. They were bringing offering. But Christ was telling them, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. Go into the everlasting fire, prepare for the devil and his angels. For I was hammered, yeah. and you give me no meat. Mm. And I am not zero. Yes. Mm. Right. You can't have compassion mm. over your brother. Mm. Knowing that tonight they are not eating. Mm. And you just say, Ah, brother, I'm going to pray for you. Yeah. Now the Lord Jesus Christ is saying, on that day, it is the same item day, I was hammered and you give me no food. But you were having it. Thank you, Jesus. At least when you don't have, you don't have. Mm. But when you have it, mm. feed the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. I'm never asking fire, prepare for the devil. And also, I was hardest. And you give me no drink. Mm. I was a stranger, and you took me not in. Naked, and you clothed me not. Yes. Sick, and in prison, and you visit, visited me not. Hey. Oh, God, Amen. Then shall they also, so then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, mm. when so we thee. In Harvard, in, or a test, or a stranger, or a naked, or a sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee. Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as he did it not unto one of these, list, uh, one of the list of these, he did not do to me. Yeah. And they shall. And this shall go away into everlasting punishment, punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. Amen. 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 But why would God give such an example of giving him and failing to give others on the judgment day? Amen. Have you ever thought of that? Amen. Have you ever thought something like that? But why would he give an example like this? Yeah. That on the judgment, there is the same thing is going to happen on the day of judgment. Yay. Amen. Amen. In another book of Revelation, the books were opened. Mm-hmm. The ship to the right, the ghost to the left. Now there's another scripture here which says, Now when you are separating, he was saying, You didn't give me, go to the left. Yeah. You give me, go to the right. Yeah. You didn't give me, you didn't give me. He's saying, You didn't live for others. Yeah. Go to the left. You are useless. Yeah. You saw me test yeah. and you leave me. Yeah. You saw me in the need. Yeah. And you said, ah, God shall go, God shall go to provide, I'm going to pray you. Yeah. 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 Amen. Christianity yeah. is living for others. Yeah. Amen. Amen. What does it? I was hungry and you feed me. I was naked and you give me clothing. I was sick and you ministered unto me. You know, God is so mindful of whatever you do unto others. Amen. To the extent that even if you give water, I do believe that if there's something which is the cheapest thing on the earth is water. It was supposed to be free. But because of they are using chemicals to treat it, that's why they are just selling it. Mm. But water was supposed to be everything. So if God can be so mindful Mm. of the water that you give to your brother, Mm. of the water that you give to your sister, Mm. Amen. Amen. Brother, can you open for me? Paradox. Verse 12, 10. If God is so mindful about all those small things, what about? Mm. Amen. 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 And the person who come to change one year, spend a year, 
yeah. without even giving someone something, hey. you are an unbeliever. Yeah. Hey. Don't talk of removing mountains. Yeah. You said, brother, but too much faith to remove a mountain from here hey. and you throw it into that inter sea. Yeah. Brother, your removing of mountains and throw them to the sea doesn't have works. Yeah. Yeah. So, that faith alone is not enough. Yeah. Yeah. But let your faith be built up yeah. with the works. Then, you know, I disciples, know. For them to be called Christian, mm. they were having one accord. Yeah. They were in one mind. Mm. They were living like on the same scale of living. Yeah. Yeah. It was not like everyone was just based on his own things. Mm. Mindful of other things of others. Amen. Also the things of others. So. Yeah. Be mindful. Mm. That, that sister lost the husband. Did they eat today? Mm. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Let's read the paragraphs. God is so gracious, brethren. Oh, yes. Take this thing serious. Amen. Is it the Bible? Yes, that's true. You want to take a life? Mm. Live for others. Amen. 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 It says, uh, 169. <clears throat> I'm going to read it. Said my son, who is a start, who is starting to be a trappist, to to follow me. He was in the front. This bra, uh, this man uh, was a, what call it? Was working in farmers. Was a doctor. He was in the farmers. Yeah. Also, the son also was learning the same. So now he's uh, he's telling his story. That's why we are just starting. Mm-hmm. My son, who is starting to be a trappist, to to follow me. He was in the front of the beauty there one day, and said. It was during the time of the depression. Said a lady walked into the door and said, "You could see what a trouble was." Amen. Amen. This man could see that this lady had got trouble. He's not happy. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we come in those situations even in life, yeah. where you can see that we we are here to change. But the way that this sister is behaving mm. shows there's a trouble in her. Oh, yes. mm. Mm. And you live there going home with that. Mm. You have sinned. Mm. You see your brother, mm. the continents have fallen. Amen. Mm. Mm. It shows that he's in trouble with something. Mm. Why don't you ask him, brother, mm. your continents is fallen? Mm. What's the problem? If you try to hide, ask him, have you paid your rent? Mm-hmm. Is it well mm-hmm. with thee? Oh, Is it well with the child? With the child? Mm-hmm. Is it well mm-hmm. at work? Is it well, my brother? Mm-hmm. Your continent has fallen. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Then you are mindful on the things of others. Yes. Mm-hmm. This man could see by the walk of the lady mm. that she is in trouble. Mm-hmm. And he said, could you, okay, you could see what her trouble was. And she was to be a mother. Mm. She was expecting. Mm. And her husband, both of them poorly dressed, said, they give the prescription over to my son. And said to him, and said, to help it filled. For the woman was in need of these certain things that a doctor had prescribed for her. Mm. And said, he said, this will be so much. That was the sign. Mm. Much such and such. And the, and the father to be asked, how much will it be? So and so. He said, sir, I will not be able. I will not I will not be able to get the prescription fulfilled or filled. He said, because that I have it in the money. Mm. The best man is honest. Mm. You can even see by poorly uh, dressed. Mm. And the person said, I have no money mm. to pay for this. But my wife, what? She is sick. Mm. Well, he said, my son said, Go right down the street 
It's been directed to a charity now. Both them, they're looking for money. Sometimes, even if you are doing a business, yeah. mind of the things of others. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's true. <clears throat> Amen. Go right down the street there, just half, half a block, or a block at the, at the 10 left, and you will see there, so see where the, the, the place is where they have charity. And you get to the to the kind to the court to the court and they will perhaps give you the money to have or other or order they will pay for this prescription because it's God that led us to have the medicine right away and said he went out to the place started and he said he listened to his son the owner of the maybe the famous or the doctor was listening to his son and something said, oh no, don't do that. Yeah. That woman needs, said, he, he happened to think that long line of people down there, it's hard for a well man to stand in the rain. Mm. Let alone a woman in that condition. Mm. Now he's thinking that, but this woman, though he might call, she might go there and get a help. Mm. But the way that she is, even a one able person cannot state the line which is there. Mm. How about him? Yeah? He's best thinking. Mm. Said, I said to my son, go, 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 call them. Tell them to come back, he said. And rush to the door and said, come back, come back. They come back. And I said to my son, feel that there is no charge. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And he said, my son, give me the prescription. I went over and it had, filled, it, uh, and had it filled. And it filled up the best I could, that I could. Mm. And brought it to give to the lady. Yeah. And he tell her that there would be no charges yeah. on this. Amen. That was all right. Because mm. she was in, in need. Mm. Of it a little bit. And I will get by without it. Amen. So the man for it. The man was it's fine, just you don't yeah. judge, just go help yourself. Amen. So I said I started to lay the medication medicine in her head. And when I did, I looked at the head. Mm. It was scarred. Said I looked up. I was putting in Jesus. See it. Amen. 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 And I learned then that the scripture what it means. Mm. In so much, in so much as you have done unto the rest, mm. my little ones. Say, do you remember that? Mm. This fellow said to me, sure, why sure? I believe that. It was a paradox, incredible, but it's a true. Yes, Amen. 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 When I give the, that family some medicine, he saw that he was given in the hand of Jesus. Mm. So when you are doing unto the least, mm. you are doing it unto Christ. Amen. Mm. Yes. Amen. Let this might be in you, brothers. Amen. That when you are doing something good for someone, you are not good doing that thing to that brother. No, to that sister. You are doing it to Christ. Yeah. I thought this man, this woman, was in a need of medicine. If she could, maybe she was pregnant, expecting. Maybe if she couldn't receive that medication, maybe he might die, she might die, or the daughter might die. But this man had compassion over her. And he said, let me just give you medicine. My business will not broke by just giving someone a, a plate of tomatoes yeah. for my business. You think the business can break? No. By just giving him something for my business that I'm doing. You saw your brother's naked and you're doing clothes business. Why don't you close your brother? Oh, yes. Mm. Amen. Amen. You say you are selling some. You have got a shop, and you see your brother is coming. Say, brother, last night 
we didn't eat. Yes. And you can even see by the face that a person did eat last yes. night. And the brothers in trouble. And you say, go well. God shall fulfill yes. your heart yes. desire. Yes. That's not oh, it. Oh, yeah. Give him the food. Yes. So that he can go and cook in the family. Yes. And when you are doing that, you are doing it unto Christ. Oh, God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let me read you another quotation again. Can you open for me, brother? Eat 
like that, and he went on with other half. Brothers, we need to be Christians. Martin, he cut a cloth, the jacket that he was having, for a bum in the street. Not for his brother. Come Not on, for his yeah, sister. We are even saying to help one another in this local church. How are we going to go out when we see a bum who needs some help? For a mercy. Amen. 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 But Martin, he knows that when you have done it unto the least, you have done it unto me. Amen. You know, don't give or help to someone waiting for a return. You know that this brother is is well built. They said, brother, I want to bless you with a shirt. Ah, uh, you do. You want to bless him with a shirt that he can return in the suit. <laughs> Give the one that he cannot. Look at what this for us. That's that's why Christ will die in Calvary. Christ died in Calvary for those people who cannot. Amen. I can't save myself. Christ died for me. It's now look at what Martin cut half of his jacket and wrapped the palm so that at least he can be warmed. Now is you caught in the script of in the gems that I can't just let this bum go. Let me give him something. He's in need of. He's cold today. He needs the jacket. But I don't need the jacket. But what I have is just a soldier jacket. Let me cut it halfway. Then he give. The people laughed at him. Said, "How ignorant is 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 it not he a handsome?" Looking soldier now, with the half cut on, he never pay any attention. Yeah. Went on, cause he know it was what he was to do. Mm. Don't be discouraged when you're doing something, Amen. doing good for someone. Amen. Continue doing. Amen. 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 And also, oh brothers, let's take this note. Let's not be your brother. Let us be Christians. Amen. Do what you can as a Christian. Amen. Amen. That night in the barracks, he woke up, and when he did, he see Jesus standing there, wrapped in that piece of coat that he had wrapped the bow in, the half coat Amen. of the soldier. He saw, that night he saw Jesus wearing that half coat. And he went out to the angels. He said, Martin, I was being surprised. He said that Jesus is wearing half coat that he had given to a man in the street. Now Jesus is wearing that. So when you go to that man, you have done it unto Christ. Amen. Christ will come and confirm that I am here. Amen. And now Martin is asking now, he looked around to the angels. He said, Do you know? Who left me? Okay, Jesus is asking now to the angels. Do you know who left me in this? They said no. Jesus said, Martin did. Amen. Amen. There you are. He became a saint, speaking tongues. <laughs> but <laughs> brother, just by giving half of his coat, just like that, he became a saint. Amen. Amen. He was. He became a saint. Speaking in tongues, casting out devils, seeing vision, a mighty prophet of God. Yes, say, why? When he read that old beggar up in the street, he read up Jesus Christ. In as much as you do, as you have done at the least of this, my little ones, Amen. you have done it unto me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That is Christ. Amen. Let us read another scripture. Then I'll read one quote. Then we can cross. How many are still enjoying the same? Amen. That's right. Let's open Luke chapter 10. I'm going to read this scripture in one quote, then we cross. 
Luke chapter 10. So that you can go and start practicing living for others. Amen. 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 Let's read from his text. It says, And Jesus said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. He fell among thieves, which stripped him of his garment, remnant, and wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance, there came down a certain priest that way. And when he saw him, he passed by on the side, other side. A priest, a man had been attacked with the thieves. Mm -hmm. Now a priest is passing by that place and he saw that oh, this person is injured. And he passed by and he went. And likewise, a Levite, when he saw at the place, come and looked on him. A Levite was passing also. He looked and said, what happened to you? And he can saw that this person is almost half dead. Eh? Was almost killed. He had, had come and looked on him and passed by on the other side. He said, Bring him. I see them all. It's not me who pity. Let me go. They went. But the person was in need. Amen. 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 But the certain Samaritan, as this journey come down, come where he was. And when he saw him, he had compassion on him. And he went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and set him on his own bed. And brought him to an inn and took care of him. A Samaritan. If in Israel, a Samaritan was a half Jew, half Gentile. Is that so? Half Jew, half young, etc. Now the Jews have passed by the blue, the Levite. Ah, they said, ah, it's not our business. But now a Samaritan is passing by. And they have a compassion on him. And he went okay. And now, and on the morrow, when he departed, he took out two pence and gave them to the host and said unto him, Take care of him. And whatsoever thou spend it more, when I come again, I will repay thee. Now, okay, which now of these three thinkest thou? was neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves. It's an example that Jesus was giving us. So now, amongst these three, which one is the neighbor or a brother or a relative to this one, to this man who has been attacked by thieves? Amen. Amen. They have used what they have to restore the life of a brother Amen. or of that man who have been attacked by thieves. Brothers, when you are doing anything for a child of God, you are doing it advised. Amen. Even though in the book of Psalm says, touch not my anointed words, do my prophet no harm. Amen. Because when you are doing evil unto them, you are also doing it unto Christ. Amen. When you make Christ happy, when you make children of God happy, you are making Christ happy. Amen. When you disappoint the children of God, you are also disappointed in Christ. Right. So when God is not yet about to you, you are no longer fighting a man. You are fighting with God. Amen. And you want to see who is the winner. Mm -hmm. Christianity, brother, is living for others. Mm -hmm. Don't live your own private life like you are already in heaven. 
We are still here on earth. There are many needs that people have in need. Your life. Pray for others. Live for others. Do something for others. Let me read my last quotation. That day will come. That day on Calvary. Paragraph 185, it says, Now, listen closely on this quote, that's where I'm going to close. Now, the first thing I want to say is Jesus never lived for himself. Amen. 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 Are we agreeing there? Amen. His life was spent for others. Amen. That's perfectly. Eternal life. Okay. That's perfectly eternal life. When you are living for others. When you say you go to church and you do good things, that's fine. But when you live your life to yourself, you haven't, you have not eternal life. Amen. When you are living a life for yourself, you don't have eternal life. Amen. The prophet is dead for it. Amen. 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 He's referring to that scripture that we read when Christ is going to stand on the judgment day, separating God from sheep. Amen. Amen. When he's separating them, those with eternal with the life, what were they doing? They were giving. Amen. The children of God. Amen. Now, eternal life now is what living for others. Amen. If you are living to yourself, you don't have eternal life. Eternal life is living for others. Hmm. It brought it when it came in the land of God. He lived. He had eternal life because he did not live for himself. Amen. He lived for others. And you receive eternal life by receiving that day and you don't live for yourself no more. Amen. You live for others. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So eternal life, brethren, is living for others. Amen. Not living for your own self. Amen. But when you start to live for others, when the man that was in Christ now is in you, Amen. now we are, you have eternal life. Amen. Eternal, but the man of Christ was living for others. Amen. Sacrificing for others. When he was not buying fish for and only bread, not for himself, for others, it's so that people they are hungry. Amen. He has compassion on them, said, We can't let the people go hungry. Amen. Let's give them something to eat. And he not buy fish, he must buy bread for others. So eternal life is living for others. Amen. That's straightforward. Amen. Eternal life, brother, is living for others. Amen. If you are still living on your own self, you have been the have eternal life. Someone said, How can you stand and let anybody call you such bad names? You don't live for yourself. You live for others. That you might redeem that man. Amen. You become sons. And the trouble of it is. The church had forgot they were sons. You are a son. You are taking Christ's place. You are a son. So, don't live for yourself. Live for others. Well, brother, brother, I can live for this brother because he's sure is a nice man. That's not it. <laughs> the man, brother says, ah, brother, brother, I can live for this. Brother is a nice man. 
I can sacrifice my life for him. The prophet says, that's not it. Live for that man who hates you. Hallelujah! Live for that man who hates you. It gives me the... Uh, I remember uh, Billy Paul was being asked, what is the greatest miracle of Billy Paul that you have seen happen to your father? It's ministry. Was that girl who was receiving a side back? Or that woman was having a bad dad? And the some people have said, no, 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 no. The greatest miracle that I've seen of my father is that you cannot distinguish his friends and his enemies. He treats them the same. Amen. If we come to that now, we are living for others. Amen. Amen. Live for that man who hates you. Yes, sir. Live for that person who would kill you if they would. Yes. That's Christianity. Amen. That's eternal life. Amen. 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 Not a tooth for a tooth. Yeah. Eye for an eye. But live for that person who plucked out your tooth. Live for that person. That's Christianity, brother. The Lord of God says, if they smite you here on the left, give them also on the right. Yes. What are you doing that for? You are living for him. Amen. Don't say, I don't know me well. Yeah. <laughs> now we know you well. Yeah. This is now you. Yeah. But you tell our life is living for others. When they did you wrong, you go pray for them and do good unto them. Right. Let nothing bother like there's something that has happened. Mm-hmm. Then when you are doing that, you will have eternal life. Amen. Amen. Live for that person who will kill you if they could. That's what they done to him. Christ. When he died at Calvary, he didn't say by it. He didn't say, Father, forgive them. Not only us, even those who were killing him. He said, Father, forgive them. For they don't know what they are doing. Yes. If Christ could forgive yeah. a person who crucified him, hmm? yeah. the nails. In the palm of the Lord. But he said, Father, forgive them. Now you said, they don't know my God. Ah, these people, they, they are playing with me like this. They don't know my God. Mm, come on. That's not the reason why you propose yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. You said, Father, forgive him. Yeah. I know that God when you are angry with this man because of his doing wrong thing on me. Call that one can kill him. You become a witch in the message. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that wishing someone big things. If you could have got power to witch, you could wish. You are a witch. <laughs> that one was saying, Father, forgive them. For they do not know what they are doing. Living. Okay. They killed him and he died. That he might save them. That's eternal life. How many want eternal life? Amen. Live for others. Amen. Don't be made for all this. Live for others. Amen. But you sacrifice your own things. Okay. So I skip something. When you that is that in your bosom, you are facing heaven then. If that is in your bosom, then you are facing heaven then. But you you sacrifice your own things. Give them up like the sheep. Give its wool. You look on towards Calvary. Amen. 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 Christianity. Is living for others. Amen. If you want eternal life, live for your brother. 
live for us this sister. Be mindful on other people's things. Amen. Amen. In the book of Hebrews, it says, Be not forgetful to entertain strangers. So bad. For this summer, in the angels are now away. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. So, people that have entertained the angels are now away. How do they entertain angels? When somebody passed by their place, do you know what that gives you for the heart's desire? That you are longing for God to give you. Do good to the children of God. Amen. God, by His grace, is going to fulfill your heart's desire. Amen. Amen. And in the book of Ephesians 4.32 it says, And be kind one to another, tend hearted, forgiving one another, even as, as God, for Christ's sake, had forgiven you. You want to get something from God? Do something for His children. Amen. Amen. Do you want to get something from God? Do you want to get something from God? Yes. Yes. Do something for his children. Yes. If you want someone to say good about you, you say good about something, someone. Amen. Amen. You want someone to bless you, you bless somebody. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. In as much as you did unto the list who are here, you are doing it unto Christ. Amen. Amen. May the Lord God bless you. Amen. 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 Let's sing a song. Let's go to the Lord. Jesus. Amen.
for others. We ask our precious pastor to come forward.